What's up, y'all? Today we're cooking a breakfast. Eggs, ham, vegan cheese. Guys, I know what we're doing today. So it is New Year's Eve, and we are getting it done. So where's my pan at? Where the heck is the pan at? Ah, here's the pan. Okay, yeah. Okay, so, oh, no, it's not. Is it pan? It is pan, I think. Okay, it should be washed, but okay. Guys, look at what happened here. Spilled cheese. Oh, now what do we do? Oh, no, the vacuum! No! Laura! Oh my gosh. Did you break it? I think the filter fell, the filter fell too. Dude, my camera's a lot heavier than your camera. I don't know how to do this. Oh, Should I figure it out? I, I, I'll help you out. <laughs> I got I don't know how to do that. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. No idea how to do this, but we'll figure it out. All right, guys, we are headed out now to our work. We're to 5 today, 12 to 5. It's not a bad shift. So, but what I do want to touch on today, though, is the importance of breakfast. If y'all don't know, breakfast is certainly the most important meal of the day. And you're saying, well, why? Why is it the most important meal of the day? There's a couple reasons why. First reason, it gets you started on your macros and your protein goals, and it gives you more energy. I feel, I feel that people that skip breakfast are making a massive mistake. If you skip breakfast, you are making probably the biggest mistake of your day. Because if you eat breakfast, if you cook, cook breakfast, you start your day off with a win. Meaning that if you you set the, the tone for your day, get the moment, momentum going, and boom, you, you set off with a win. But if you rush out of the house, if you're, if you're oversleeping, if you don't get breakfast, if you, if you eat like a high sugar product, like a muffin or whatever it is, then you are starting off with an L, with a loss of your day. So it's important that you know that breakfast can make or break your day. It really can. So what I recommend is you guys, A, meal prep your, your breakfast, or B, you get up earlier and you eat breakfast and you cook it there. I like the first option a little better just because my breakfast isn't soggy or you know not. I like, I like it fresh. And you want stuff too that's like not, that is tough to make. Like you want eggs. And oatmeal, like that'll probably take you maximum 15 minutes to make. Maximum. I mean, it takes me like not that much time at all. Or you can make it, put it in some um, carry-out containers, meal prep, meal prep containers, and do it that way. But I mean, there's a bunch of ways you can do it. And breakfast, though, guys, you gotta. The importance of it is just is immaculate. I can say a big word. It's immaculate. The importance of breakfast this is so immaculate, you guys would be shocked at how important it really is. So, <clears throat> breakfast is the one thing you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta focus on. Then, once you do consume breakfast, you have more energy, you feel better throughout your whole entire day, you get a great lifting because you actually have, you have energy. Now, if you lift in the mornings, excuse me, you don't have time to cook, to cook, to cook breakfast, that's when I would say, okay, then you meal prep it and bring it to work. Because then at that point, you only have a choice. Unless you go at 5 in the morning, you don't work till 9, you get up at 7. You're home at 7, you can cook, they cook then. But if you, if you work early in the morning, I would recommend you um, cook breakfast the, the, the night before and you meal prep it. Because that's the only way you, you'll be able to actually do it. But it's worth it. You, you'll be so glad you did it. And man, like, it gives you so much energy that, that the whole entire day. Because it's food, it's fuel. So that's kind of what I wanted to touch on today. Is the importance of breakfast. High or high? Gets you, gets you on a great start for your day. More energizes to help you f perform better at work. There's so many like advantages to it. It's not even funny. So that's what, uh, that's what I tell you to do is really focus on that. Really focus on your breakfast. Meal, meal prep or not. If you want my breakfast, the yeah, 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 ideal breakfast. Keep in mind I'm balking now. But oh, I do in the morning six eggs. Either one egg or 200 grams of egg whites or six eggs. And I add ham and a little bit of cheese in there because, I mean, I cannot eat eggs without freaking having something there in, in, the, in the eggs. Then I have uh, an oatmeal or a cream of wheat or cream, cream, cream of rice. I put a little bit of chocolate chips in there and I have a little bit of fruit in there as well. And that'll be my breakfast today. The cream, cream of wheat is probably 200 grams. And then the oatmeal probably like 150 grams now for you though if you are trying to lose weight maintain 
three to four, three eggs, give or take, maybe, maybe four eggs should be enough, depending on how much you weigh and what you are. I won't men or men, but it depends on which way you. Basically, your whole entire um, structure, your weight, your height, your age, your gender. So that's what I would uh, recommend. And then oatmeal, generally speaking, 70 to 80 grams of oatmeal is probably fine. Uh, I eat double that right now because I'm mostly I'm bulking and trying to gain weight right now. And it is the winter time, so you know what? Um, like, you know what? F it. This is not the time to bulk for the summertime and possibly prep for a show. So, I mean, a lot of things, uh, a lot of things going on, man. I'm pretty pumped for it. But, yeah, man, that's all I got, guys. And once again, eat your breakfast, no cereal, no sugary foods, no nothing that's spicy or insulin like cereal. Or muffins or donuts, like guys, that, that spikes your. What that does is spikes your insulin, spikes your, your blood sugar, you get a quick high of energy, and boom, you crash. And then you, all of a sudden, you're going into work, and you're you're tired. You're already tired because your breakfast was literally not ideal and didn't energize you. And a pro tip too. Now, keep in mind you should also consult your doctor for the, like with this. But greens powder is literally, I feel, a lifesaver if you feel like lethargic, if you feel like you don't have energy, man, the greens part will save you. It will save your butt, man. It will save your butt over many, many, many times over. So greens powder is the move, man. I, I like Transparent Labs. They're great. Um, the greens powder, they have unflavored, which is nice. Take that first thing in the morning before you lift, or if you lift that in the evening, you take it still in the morning. I prefer to take it in the morning and I believe it says take it once or twice a day. But once again, refer to your phys physician for that, your doctor for that. But man, like that's a clutch, clutch, clutch thing for energy, man. It's pro tip. Gets you, gets your all, it's all your uh, essential and non-essential vitamins and minerals in. Maybe, maybe more. It's more so for non-essential. Why is my camera here doing that? I don't get why. It, anyway, there you go. Um, uh, it's more so for non-essential vitamins and some essential as well. But man. I'm telling you right now, it, it, it's, it's a game changer. It's clutch comes in clutch, but I mean, man, yeah, man, that's uh, that's about all I got for that. And yeah, I think uh, I think greens is the way to go. Greens is the way you should go for sure. So if you have greens breakfast, you, you will and you can get all your water in, but you you will be a powerhouse throughout the, the whole entire day. So hacks. Now, I think this is what you should do. I feel from, and from my point of view, from my experience, what I know, greens powder, water when you first get up, 30 ounces of water, eat your breakfast, get your Yule, and even maybe if you lift in the morning, go in the morning, if you lift midday, evening, where we go, lift too, and you will feel one, a thousand times better than you do now. I'm telling you right now. So do that. Comment, comment down below when you did it, and come back to me. I'm very curious to know what you thought about it and how you feel versus when you didn't do that routine. So do it, guys. Do it. Right now, guys, we're ahead home now. I guys, we're ahead home now. But the one thing I did want to talk to you about is bulking, and I want to talk to you about what it is and what you can do. And if you are bulking, here's a pro tip for y'all: do not eat bad foods for you, like high in fat, high in carbs. You want to eat foods that are going to benefit you long term. Because I'll tell you right now, like it's it's very tempting when you say, "Oh, I'm bulking. I can eat this five burger meal or this five." fried meal no man uh -uh. in reality what you need to do when you're bulking is you got to eat clean food still but you're not saying every meal has to be chicken and rice and broccoli but it should be foods that benefit you the most like it should be like foods that you know like, like chicken like brown rice like vegetables not saying once again every meal has to be that but it certainly has to be a part of it I mean, I have cheat days, I have cheat meals, I have cheat whatever. I mean, I have flexibility. It's, it's, you gotta have flexibility as well, guys, but you also cannot be eating out every day with burgers and fries and all this BS, man. It's not that s simple. And I feel if you do that, then you'll have trouble. You have issues with, with this stuff. Because, I man, I'll tell you right now, like, eating clean is one thing. You gotta eat clean. You gotta eat clean, dude. Like, <laughs> The, the, the dirty bulk puts on way too much body fat. 
And then you gotta shred it all down. You gotta, it's, 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 and you end up losing that, that muscle process. So you really just kind of stay in the same. But you're eating, you're getting a bunch of body fat in the winter time and fall winter, is, winter time. It's just not worth it. So having said that though, it's important that when you do bulk up, high protein, creatine, anything that's clean to help you gain the most calories possible. Like it's literally all about eating more clean foods. Cause I mean, I know it's, it's definitely easier said than done. Trust me, it really is. But man, it's, I mean, right, right now I'm eating four or five meals a day. And man, it's freaking easier said than freaking done, bro. It is easier said than freaking done. But regardless of that, that's what uh, I wanted to kind of go on a little bit of a tangent there or a educational segment, if you want to say. But yeah, man. Guys, but that's all I got for this video. If you guys did get value from this video and you want to see more content just like this, make sure you smash that subscribe button down, for, down below for more content just like this. Also, if you're having trouble losing weight, getting muscle mass, getting confidence, make sure you apply to my coaching program down below. I'd be happy, 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 happy to help you out. And I really would. Not everyone is considered as a client, but. It's important to get at least try, right? You don't know until you try. So, anyways, y'all, that's all I, oh, and by the way, too, if you are good fit, then of course I will, we will, we can have a, a, uh, a more in-depth conversation later on. But anyways, that's all I got. Now, I'll see our broskies in the next video. Ah! <sighs>